Hey everyone, this is me, Andrew's Movie Corner, back with you once again. After re-showing my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection titles, I thought I'd do the same thing, but this time with the Walt Disney Black Diamond Classics titles, I wanted to do, do them all in the way they were, the order they were theatrically released, like I did with the Masterpiece titles. And I don't have as many Black Diamond Classics titles as I do Walt Disney Masterpiece. So I was like... Anyways, let's get started. Here we go. Walt Disney's second animated classic, Pinocchio. It's a 1985 VHS. This is, here's, the, here's the 1985 Canadian VHS of Pinocchio. Had this for an extremely long time. Nine years ago, I purchased it. It's got there's the tape. It's got the sticker label. And it's got the tan lid. And there's no print date on this tape. Because this is a Canadian copy. And this tape actually has the has the the trailer for the Black Cauldron, because this one's version one. Just want to give you some information there. We got a couple copies of version two. The 1985 VHS Pinocchio. This is the first copy. I actually got this one in 2015. The spine was ripped. The, the case was kind of ripped down the spine. Put fixed that with packing tape. Tape the sticker labels. This one has a print date from August 5th, 1985. Yeah. This, this one does not have a Black Cauldron trailer. Because this one's version 2. Just want to give you some information there. And the next one I got, it's this is my this is my second copy of version 2. I actually got a new copy because this one. Because the clamshell is actually in better shape. Yeah. It's not ripped down the spine. It's the spine the, the whole case, the clamshell is still intact. So yeah. This is why I got this why why I got another copy. Yep, it has the same ink label, but this one was printed August 7th, 1985. So these, and the second copy, first copy was printed two days apart. Yeah, but got the the black diamond in there. It's kind of, yep, it's in that puffy clamshell. Very kind of, kind of like cushion. Kind of like cushion style. Yeah. I mean, I was... I thought about doing it the way IMAX Nation 1980 did, but I decided to do it the way they're theatrically released. And we got two copies of the 86 VHS Pinocchio. Re, they were repackaged in white clamshells that year. Here's this copy. Yes, this one I've had since 2017. Yeah, this one actually... has the same casing as 85 VHS, except this one, yep, as you all know, was repackaged in a white clamshell. Oh, it, it has the same sticker label. This tape is printed July 22nd, 1986. And we have this copy of Pinocchio. I think this might, this one's probably 86 if I'm not mistaken. And yep. And then, mm, well, uh, sticker label, you have Pinocchio there in the classic uh, switch. It's not in red. You probably know it. This one was pretty March 26, 1987. So, you know what? I, I lied. This is not an 86 tape. This is an 87 tape. I'm, I'm sorry. Pinocchio, great classic. We're not done with that because we have the 93 VHS. We have two copies. Here's the first copy, which, yep, had this one since since 2014. Had this for uh, seven years. Eight years, actually. Yep. I know a lot of YouTubers actually have this copy and have had this, cop had this release the absolute longest. 
which I had another copy of this before this and had another copy of this tape before purchasing the 85 VHS. So, so actually I've had the, the 93 VHS of Pinocchio the absolute longest. It's an ink label printed January 23rd, 1993. Oh, and here is the second copy. I got this one factory sealed at State Seals Warehouse. I think my, I think it was in 2021. Yep, it has the same ink label. I actually just watched it all the way through a couple weeks ago. Printed February 26, 1993. I'll be rewinding this tape when I do a rewinding of VHS segment video. Plan on doing that sometime. Excellent. And it's got some promo, promo stuff, which I'm not going to show those today. We don't have time for that. Uh. And, yep, there you have it. Pinocchio. We got Fantasia. That's another great classic. Fantasia. Here we have three. Here's the first copy of the 1991 VHS Fantasia ink label copy. Had this for a long time. It has a little booklet that comes with it. Yep, it's got an ink label. Printed July 23rd, 1981, 1991, sorry. And speaking of this, I'm, I'm never getting the 1991 French Canadian VHS of Fantasia because that because I heard that when that release has got bad, that copy of Fantasia has bad reviews. They, the French Canadian VHS, I I hear that copy is a bad, actually terrible, for your, not good for your collection. And here's the second ink label copy. I've had had this one in a while, a long time. This one was factory sealed when I got it back in 2019, but I didn't open it until 2020. Or, or maybe it might have, might have been 2021 when I opened this copy of Fantasia and first watched it. Yep. It's the ink label, same ink label, but I, I actually just finished watching this tape last week, and it now needs to be rewound. Printed July 7th, 1991. It's got the same promo. It's got the same promo. It's got two more things that come with it. It's got, oh yeah, but we won't be showing those. Like I said. Oh, and here's, here's another, well, this is the third copy, reason for a third copy. Well, here's this three, here, here's the reason. It has a, it has a gold vertical sticker label. Yep, it does have writing on there, but yeah, that's. I don't think that's a big deal. Printed June 19th, 1991. Yeah. Oh, kind of strange. And we got the 86 VHS of Dumbo. I think I've had this copy since 2019. Yeah, I have had since that year. Yep, it's got the tape with the sticker label. That's writing on there, yeah. But hey. It's no big deal. Well it's the way the way I the way I bought it. This tape's printed September twenty third, nineteen eighty six. This this Sword of the Stone and Alice in Wonderland and Pinocchio and Robin Hood were all repackaged. When Sleeping Beauty came out to home video in eighty six. And then we have the uh, 87 VHS of Dumbo. Yep. Same same case. Yep. Label, it's a little, diff little different, yeah. Because of the font. Yep. There's no print in on this tape. Either an 87 or an 88 tape. I, I think this one might be an 88 tape. Please help, help, help me if you if you know what year this copy Dumbo was released. And 
we got the 89 tape. We got two of them. Here's this one. This this is one I've had for a long time. Got this from Amazon in 2011. Yep. And yep. It has any? I mean, a sticker label. Yeah, it's got my. It's got some. I wrote down after I purchased this tape. This was printed October 3rd, 1991. So yeah, this tape I. I've had this for for 11 years now. Had this for. I've had this a long time. Yeah. See that? I wrote that on there. In an orange font. It's a great movie, yeah. Even though it is a sad movie. And yep, here's this one. Also need nine tape, but it's still in the shrink wrap. I got this one. April 15th, 2019 at Bibles for Mexico in Holland. Michigan. Yeah. Yep. And I intend to keep this in the shrink wrap because it could be worth a lot of money. And I and I, and I apologize I did not show this when I did the did the comparison for Dumbo. And we're not done because we have the 91 VHS of Dumbo. Got this copy back in 2017. Yep. Kind of remastered the case when they released when they released the Jungle Book. The jung Jungle Book. They remastered Alice, Dumbo, and Sword and Stone all in the... Oh, and yeah. Oh, and when Rescuers Down was released, that's when they kind of repackaged Robin Hood. Yep, and here's the tape, the uh, ink label. Print date is January 10th, 1994. And then we have the 1989 VHS of Bambi. This is actually a really nice copy. I got this one for Christmas in 2018. Yep. This is actually a new copy. You know, I actually, I actually got rid of my other copy. Because this one's actually a nice, really, actually a lot nicer. Because it's, because it has these promo stuff. I'm not going to bother showing those today. Anyways, it's the tape itself, the sticker label, and there's no... Yeah, I mean, I mean, the label is a little crooked, but... I, but the tape should work. Yeah. It's from 1942. Oh, and here we have the 88 VHS of Cinderella. Got this copy back in 2013. Had for nine years. Oh, wait, no, this is a new copy I got in 2015. My bad, i sorry. I got rid of my other copy I got back in 2013. I actually replaced it. I like this, because I like this copy better. It's a little bit nicer. I mean, the label's kind of in bad shape, but that's okay. The tape works. No print date on this tape. Cinderella is a great movie. Even though it is a princess movie, I'm, I was told that men can still like this movie. Here we have the uh, next early 86 VHS of Alice in Wonderland. I don't think I ever showed this tape to you. But, I did purchase it in June 2018. Had it for about four years now. Let's tape the sticker label, yeah. The, the reels are actually fade completely yellow. Print date's August 5th, 1986. I think this tape should work. I'm I plan to I'll plan to put this in the VCR to make sure it works. And we have the the 86 repackaging in a white clamshell, which Alice later in 86. This 
when it was released again the same year, 86, which this tape, was re this time it was repackaged in a white clamshell. Yep, it's got the same sticker label. Yeah, reels are actually the same, complete yellow reels. Looks as if someone someone urinated on them, but no, they weren't. They're the reels are not urinated. The the it's just the way the tape was the tape was built in the factory. Print date is September eighteenth, nineteen eighty-six. And then we have an eighty, I think this, yep, nineteen eighty-eight VHS of Alice in Wonderland. Yep, it's got this. Well, this is actually different. Yep, and there's no printing on this Alice in Wonderland tape. Alice in Wonderland is a good movie. You can't go wrong with it. It is a good movie. Next, we have the uh, the 1989 Black Diamond Classics VHS of Alice in Wonderland. This is the one I had gotten factory sealed. I did not plan on opening this, but... I had to because, yeah. Because I had another copy that was not work. That was that was actually not working. I mean, yeah, I actually had a bad case. Had a bad clamshell, yep. Yep, this tape has the same sticker label, but, but it's actually in a lot nicer condition. This was printed August 6, 1991. Yep, Alice in Wonderland's a good classic. You can't go wrong with Alice in Wonderland. Put this back in here. And here we have the 91 VHS of Alice in Wonderland. I think it was repackaged at the same time as Dumbo, Sword Stone, when... I think when, when the Jungle Book came out to video. Um, I, yeah, I think... Or it might have been when Rescuers Down Under came out to video. It's got an ink label this time. This was printed January 7, 1993. And you'll like this. It comes in a 90s style clamshell. Buy. But the only bad news is it has a little bit of scribbling in the clamshell. But that's okay. It's the way it came. And we got a couple copies of the 1990 VHS of Peter Pan. Yep, and here's this copy I got back in March 2020, just before COVID hit, and we had to, and just before we went, uh, just before we had to go under stay-at-home order. Yep, this one has a vertical ink label, and this one does not have a print date. And here is the, here's another copy. I've had this one since I've had, I got this back in May, 2019. Yeah, got a business reply card, which, you know, I'm actually gonna th think about, I'm gonna probably think about dumping this reply card. Yep, after this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably dump it. Cause I've got one that comes in the, next video the next copy for show but this one is maybe yeah it's, it's different though horizontal ink label this was printed april 24th 1990 yep and here's this copy which i got factory sealed april 2019 of this actually got this after the 1998 vh Yep, reason is because I it it has a business reply card that I like that I'm actually gonna keep this one. And it's got a book booklet that comes with it, but we're not gonna show that. And here's the tape. It has an ink label, but Peter the title and the classics are switched. It's got 
Got a print date from uh, March 26, 1990. We're just going to use March 26, 1990 as the print date. As the head print date. And, yep. Great classic film. Yep. Uh -huh. And, yes. We're moving on to the next title in the line. That is another great classic. Uh, uh, yep. Lady and the Tramp. This is the 87 VHS. I have two copies because, yep, because the label. Here's this copy I got back in February 2018. Oh, yep. Tape the sticker label. Yep, the classics on top, the, and the title in the middle. No print date. Not very many copies of this release of Lady and the Tramp have a print date. And we got this copy. Yep. Back December 2018, that's when I had gotten this tape for Christmas. Yep, here's the latest tape with the label, but the title is on the top and the classics logo is in the middle. That's that's the reason I have this copy as well. This one also has no print date. Yeah. And we got another great movie. If here we have the 86 VHS of Sleeping Beauty. I've had this since 2000, since December of 2013. If you all saw my VHS update from back then. Yep, that is when I purchased this tape. Yep, here's the tape, the uh, sticker label. Printed on August 1st, 1986. I know I'm Action Nation 1980 had two copies of this. He had one that did not, one that stopped working, one that actually works. I remember watching his old videos. And they were awesome. And we're not done with that because we have the 87 VHS of Sleeping Beauty. I mean, yeah, I saw the bootleg copy of this at State Sales Warehouse and I. And I actually have no plans on buying that tape because, yeah, I don't want to, because, you know me, I don't, I don't buy bootleg tapes anymore. I, I usually try to avoid that. It's, anyway, it's the sticker label, it's different from the 86 VHS. It's printed July 20, July, uh, 27th, 1987. Because although it says 67, but that's a mistake. Yeah, just ignore that. No, just ignore that little mix-up print. And we got a couple copies of the 92 VHS 101 Dalmatians. Here we have the one with no preview on it. Yep, got this back in July 2018. Let's tape the ink label. Printed January 13, 1992. And this tape has no preview on it because this is version 1. Just want to give you information. And this was a former rental from Blockbuster. Which, unfortunately, they they went out of business. Because they went bankrupt. And, let's see. Yep, and there's only one remaining location for Blockbuster. And, that, that's, and that's in Oregon. You know, speaking of, I'm... One of these days, I'm actually going to plan on flying to Oregon. So I can go to the last Blockbuster store. Maybe purchase, a, maybe get some movies at that last Blockbuster. And here we have this copy. Really nice copy. Number one Dalmatians. 1992 VHS. Has, an, has the same label, but this one's printed February 3rd, 1992. And this one actually has previews because this one's version 2. Just want to give you some information. It has a preview for Aladdin. At the beginning. At the end, it actually has previews. The Great Mouse Detective and... Beauty and the Beast. Oh, and 
Next up, we have the 85 VHS of the Sword in the Stone. Yep. I, you know how, yeah, I told you this copy is damaged. Yeah. Look, look at that. Listen to the reel. Yeah. Making a little funny noise. Printed January 29th, 1986. Yeah. I'm going to probably see if I can find another copy of this tape on eBay, probably this fall. And, yep, but for now, I'm going to keep this one. Yeah. Yeah, this, this tape, I, yeah, it's actually spliced. Yeah. And we have the 87 VHS of Sword in the Stone. Or, yep, it is 87. Yep, it's got the tape sticker label. And the print date's June 25th, 1987. So, yep, this is actually a 1987 VHS. I do not have the 86 VHS, but the 86... VHS in a white claim shell, but I am hoping to find that someday. And here we have the 88 VHS of the Sword in the Stone. You can tell by the holographic sticker. Yeah, this is an 88 VHS. Ugh. Anyways, yep, the tape itself has the sticker, but it's different. And the tape still needs to be rewound. Printed May 23rd, 1988, and July 15th, 1988. So, yep, yeah, July 15th, 1988 is going to be the, is the main print date for this tape. Oh, and you'll like this. It's got a cool holographic sticker. There you have it with the 88 VHS of the Sword and Stone we got next couple 1989 VHS copies of Sword in the Stone. Here's this copy, which I've had this one since 2013. I actually got this after getting a new 1994 Black Diamond VHS, I mean Masterpiece Collection VHS of Sword in the Stone. Tape, stick a little thing, similar to the 88 VHS, so we get it out. Uh, nope, it's different. Yeah. This is the font on the label. This was printed June 1st, 1991. And here's this one. It's still in the shrink wrap. And I'm not planning on opening this one anytime soon. And we have the 91 VHS of the Sword in the Stone. I think I got this one back in 2014. Yep, it's got an ink label. Printed April 14th, 1992. And, yep, yeah, I actually have good news. on. I've actually been able to clear out a lot of storage on my phone to make room for longer videos. Yep, next we have the 91 VHS Jungle Book. We have two copies. This is the horizontal ink label copy. I've had this one since, yep, I got this one from a friend back in 2014. April 2014, that's when I got this copy of the Jungle Book. Yep, it has an ink label, printed February 7th, 1991. I liked this movie, The Jungle Book. This is a great classic movie, great movie. Oh, and we have this copy next. But this one is different because, you know what? <clears throat> it has a vertical sticker label. I mean, yep, I mean, it took a long time for me to, to finally find this copy of the, of the Jungle Book. To find this version. Find, to finally find this version. Yep, and this was printed yep, July 23rd, 1981. 91, my bad, I'm sorry. I was off, off 10 years. <laughs> And next, 
we got two copies of the 86 VHS Robin Hood. Here's, here's the early pressing of the Robin Hood 1986 VHS. This one, yeah. When I got it, its original clamshell was was broken. So, yep. That's why that's why it isn't a 90s style clamshell. Yep. It's the tape with the sticker label and the title is in red. Black diamonds in the middle. And it's got that line and it has a tan lid. This was printed July 2nd, 1986. And here's this copy, which is a later pressing. But, yep, just like I know IMAX Nation 1980 says, it says a Walt Disney Productions, Robin. Tape the sticker label, yeah. The classic signs and the title are switched, and the title's not in red, and there's no line dividing it. Oh, yep, and the reels are actually yellow, but that's the way it came. Printed September 27, 1986. And yep, this is actually a fun copy of Robin Hood to have. Yep, and I I know it's got it's got hand it's got some it's got some writing on there, just like that one copy of Dumbo. But that's okay, not a not a big deal. Next, we got the ninety one VHS of Robin Hood. I've had this one for almost eight years. I got this in twenty fourteen. My my dad actually got this for well my aunt got it for me had had my dad bring it home got an ink label this time printed on may may 20th 1991 and we have the 92 vhs of robin hood i've had this copy the longest Same case, which similar casing from the 94 VHS. Yep. It's got the same ink label as the 91 VHS. It was printed January 25th, 1994. Yep. Usually when usually when I watch Robin Hood, I, I usually watch the 94 VHS, the one with more previews on it. With the 96 print date, that's the copy of Robin Hood I usually watch. But that's not what we're showing today. I'm, we're actually showing classics titles. Here's the 92 VHS, The Rescuers. I got this copy back in September 2017. Oh, it has promotionals. Yeah. Or, yeah, you might, well, I might have actually gotten this one back in December 2016 for Christmas. And, yeah, here's the ink label. Printed May 20th, 1992. This is a good movie. And next we got The Fox and the Hound. We got two versions. Here we have version one, which I've had for a long time. This is one I've had the longest. The tape, the ink label. Print date is January 17, 1994, and this tape does not have a Return of Jafar trailer because this is version 1. Just want to give you information on this. And version 2, this is a new copy because my other one actually got eaten by a VCR. Yep, this is a brand new, new copy, you got it. I got it a good one. It actually comes with promotionals. Promos, promo materials that come with it. Same ink label, but this was printed March 3rd, 1994. Printed a year before Lion King came out to home video. And this tape actually has a Return of Jafar trailer because this one's version 2. Just want to give you information. And we have the 86 VHS of The Great Mouse Detective. I got this copy factory sealed back in 2014, March 2014. Actually, I've had the the 99 mass, the 99 VHS longer than this copy, but but I am glad to have to own this copy. 99 VHS also got sealed in the mail from Amazon. But this one has an ink label, printed April 30th, 1992. Yep. 
this tape the earlier in April this year it, it actually turned actually it had its golden birthday not kidding had its golden birthday and, and that month. and we got two 1990 VHS's the Little Mermaid because one of them has a vertical has an ink label one of them has a stick label both are vertical labels and this is the what the vertical ink label copy yep it's the t it's right here the vertical ink label printed February 20th 1991 and February 25th 1991 so yeah we're gonna say the 25th is gonna be is the main print date on this copy of the Little Mermaid and here's the the vertical sticker label copy which I like it's got some pr promo stuff Yep, but it's got a vertical sticker label. June 10th, 1991 is the print date on this tape. I think both tapes open up the same way. Oh, our next movie, we got The Rescuers down under. We have the 91 and 92 VHSs. Here is the 91 VHS, which... This is actually a new copy of the 91 VHS. But, yep, it has a vertical sticker label. How cool is that? Printed July 16th, 1991. And here we have another copy, but this one is in the wrapper still. And I don't plan on getting this out of the wrapper anytime soon. So don't at, so please do not ask me to get this tape out of the shrink wrap. And here we have a 92 VHS. Got it at some some record store in Holland. Is that CD Exchange? This one has an ink label though. And it was printed May 11, 1993. This one actually has the green FBI warning screens at the beginning. Followed by the distorted Walt Disney Classics logo from 92. And then the Walt Disney Pictures logo into the start of the film. And next, Beauty and the Beast. Which is my number number three all-time favorite Disney movie. Here we have version one, which has a Pinocchio trailer at the end. And yep, it's the tape, the... Ink label, it's got Sorcerer Mickey on there. Printed June 5th, 1992. It was printed on my mom's 20th birthday. This tape has a Pinocchio trailer, like I said, because this one's version 1. Just want to give you information. And here's this copy, which does not have a Pinocchio trailer at all. It has all these. And it has an ink label. Tape still needs to be rewound. Printed July 3rd, 1992. Printed day before Independence Day that year. This one does not have a Pinocchio trailer because this one is version one and a half. Because just want to give you proof uh, and information. Sorry. And we got the next one, which is the 90 version two. Completely version two. Yep. This one has only these. Yep, it's got the same ink label, but no source of Mickey. Printed November 17, 1992. This tape actually has a Pinocchio trailer, but it's but it's at the beginning of the tape before the film starts. Because this one is version 2. Just want to give you information on that. And the last one. It's the final fi film in the line. Nine, theatrically released, Aladdin. Here we have version 1. This is actually first copy of version one, but this is an ink label copy that I keep in my room. Yep, right here. It's got an ink label. Printed July 9th, 1993. Printed five days after Independence Day of the year. This one doesn't have that one bumper, at, you know, coming to theaters bumper, because it's version one. Just want to give you information. And here, here's this one, but this one is a sticker label copy. Yep. See, it's got Sorcerer Mickey there. Very cool. Printed June 27, 1993. And this one also doesn't have that well coming to theaters bumper. Because it is version 1 as well. Just want to give you information. And 
we have this copy. It's got the same ink label, but this print is September 3rd, 1993. And this tape has the come into theaters bumper because this one's version two. Just want to give you information. And last, this is actually a Spanish copy of Aladdin. I thought it'd be a good idea to include this because it is dubbed in Spanish. Here's the ink label. This was printed February 23rd, 1995. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to stay tuned for my next video, which which I intended to, to show you my Canadian VHS collection for 2022, which is premiering on July 1st, 2022. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye.